Hey everyone. I'm assuming if you click this video, you've heard the news about our dear friend Brian being on hospice and uh, giving his final goodbyes to the reptile community. This morning has been a rough morning, not only for me, but for a lot of my friends and a lot of Brian's friends. But instead of being sad, I spent my morning looking back at not only my favorite memories with Brian, but also the crew, BHB, the Reptarium, and even Lori makes a couple cameos. I figured I could share those videos with you today just to try to show Brian when he was at his best, because he was definitely at his best in all of these videos. So, I'm not gonna sit here and keep blabbing. I just wanna show you guys some awesome memories that I have with Brian, and I'll come back real quick at the end. So we just made it, we were just in the actual shop, and now we're going into the Reptarium. This is gonna be badass. So I've got Kelsey and Eric here, and I'm asking their opinion. I'm not scared. Just careful. But there you go. <laughs> Once you actually have him, he's not that bad. No big deal. And the moment of truth. Come on, little one. You're gonna love this. Basically, we figure out how like the curvature of the cages should go, um, and then I hold them, and Brian. Hey, it's me up here with the jump. Up there, <laughs> he uh, drills them together so they'll stay in the same spot that I'm kind of holding them in. Uh, we are back at Casa Barcheck. Uh, that's Noah's house and Brian's house. For now, it just looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, she's a great girl. You never have to worry about her yeah. at all. She, she hiss a little bit, but yeah. that's about it. And she likes to squeeze you a little bit too. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, this is Sunrise, the albino Burmese python. I think this is probably, her Bella would probably be my favorite ambassador animals. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. They're just yeah, so Bella's cool. amazing, yeah. Sunrise is great, you know, I mean, she's got that size. I can't believe she was only like this big, just like a year ago. I know. Around. She's grown so much, and now that she's in a bigger cage and all that stuff, now she's obviously heated up, she's gonna eat a lot more and stuff yeah. like that, so she's gonna get even bigger, so that's gonna be amazing. And another one of BHB's favorite ambassadors is actually right here. We're gonna have a little bar back here, a couple lazy boys. So if you use discount code Bad Choice Noah on your purchase of the ticket, what? What's up? What was that? <laughs> cut, cut. I absolutely love potato mice. Centralian blue tongue skink. Of course, this is what they call a multi fasciata. These guys are really rare. You know, you see northerns, you see easterns, but there's not a lot of multi fasciata in the country. This particular animal was actually related to rare earth that goes back like 20 something years in the country. Regardless, I only have this little buddy here, but uh, he is absolutely amazing. All right, so right here we got Bowser. Bowser? Bowser. Is a Whoa! Jesus. I got Noah, sous chef, and cooking bacon. Oh, All right, at like midnight, we're finally gonna eat. Oh, I'm just kidding, it's like nine something. We're finally gonna eat, and here's the final product. Brian was nice enough to keep me some of Lucy's eggs. So I have four retic eggs that we're about to cut. Uh, thank you very much, Brian, for letting me cut these. I really, really appreciate it. So let's see what's inside the eggs. All right, so the first egg. Let's see what we got. That, I have no idea. It looks like a, just a really reduced citron tiger. Maybe there's something else going on in there. It looks like there might be something else going on in there. It looks good. But I'm not sure yeah, what it is. Cool. Well, hey, first uh, snake cutting ex or egg cutting experience went awesome. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. It's awesome, man. Good job. Okay, so we're going to do some fireworks right now. And I'm not going to say that it's illegal, right? Because you can buy fireworks in Michigan. But it might be like frowned upon to do it right now at 10 p.m. Yeah. But we're still gonna do it. All so my, all my neighbors are really old, and they so they're gonna be like really mad that we wake them up. But yeah, so know. we got a couple mortars and then that big cake. So um, I think we should do the mortars first, because just because it's only two, and then we can light that and like and run back. Run, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay yeah. Let's do that. Probably not a good idea to have the giant cake next to the thing that's about to spark everywhere. Oh, this just got so sketchy. Go check it. All right, I'm gonna go grab, I'm gonna go light the cake. Record it. Guys, the neighbor's watching. She's gonna call the cops 100% because she's really old.
So uh, let's just pop these nuts. Are you ready for this? All right, cheers. Sink. Sink. Oh, dude, immediately hot. Immediately hot. That's oh so my hot. god. Just wait, it gets so much worse. Oh, wow. That's so much different. Andy was here helping out when we were about halfway done or something yeah. like that. So this is the first time he's getting a chance to kind of see the place. And by the way, you can tell he's vlogging too. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. You can check his perspective of this place out if you so choose. So what do you think, man? Let's do it. That's quite the little menagerie you got there. Very nice, Andrea. Thank you. Oh my God, it looks yummy. It's really not even that bad. That's There's just a little bit of one little turd over here. You get put to work. Argamas? Oh, oh, I just got drenched. Oh, oh. that sucks. Damn it. Oh, it's all over your oh, face. Oh my god, dude. Right. Here, take this. <laughs> okay, oh. The camera got all right. sweat, too. Good work, Andy. Thanks for yeah. up here, bud. Dude. Oh, he looks like he's going to jump. Oh, he is going to jump. Oh! oh my god. That I was know. awesome. So, chicken strip. What's up? Oh my god, look at him. Is it crazy or what? He's so cool. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Dude, so this is an albino alligator, if you guys don't know that for my video. But, oh my god. Isn't that sick? The pinks, dude, like on the head right there. Yeah. Hey, Noah, you should show him those really tame toke geckos we have. No, I don't... That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys this, but I watch your video. Oh, right. come on. You I ruin know, everything. I pay attention. <laughs> I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, it hurts. Oh, it definitely hurt. Okay. Oh, how was that? That was a good kiss. Hey. What it is going? No. Okay, so she worked for for a year, year and a half. So you've got to be good at like handling the snakes and taking them out and stuff. I would. I guess. don't do colubrids. Oh. Well, she's gonna do a colubrid though. She's real good at this. Oh, viper boa. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. We're gonna ship them to you and let them free roam your house. Oh. Kelsey yeah. would honestly yeah. more than likely love you. I okay. doubt it. Well, okay, I got Kelsey. Your address. Oh, you do have my address. That's not. <laughs> that's not that. good. And now he's just edging it like a little bit closer and closer, a little bit closer. <laughs> Why are you backing up? Yeah, you know, because I know from right there it could probably get my face, <laughs> and uh, that kind of just proved. You can see my lens is a little bit blurry because it literally got the camera lens. Um, I've never really like gotten up close with them, but how cool is it that it's like, not only is this snake like living, but it's thriving and like doing perfectly well with two heads. So Brian's moving uh, salt and pepper into their new enclosures right yes, now. Yes, for the first time they're going into their new places. With any luck, it'll all work out well and they'll be able to stay in there for the next six or eight months till they get too big. So we don't have to keep taking them in and out of their enclosures oh, to put them in back. So. Now. <laughs> I know, aren't they amazing? Uh, so. so this is obviously salt. One, more, two, dude. three, four, five more. Hey Brian. So we're doing the, the wheel spin. What what animal do you think? We've already got like all the basics. Jimmy? Oh yeah, dude, Jimmy. Who's Jimmy? Jimmy? I don't even know who that is. Yeah, hundred percent. It's Jimmy. Jimmy is Jimmy, put, dude. Jimmy's put Jimmy. Jim, just put Jimmy on the board. Put Jimmy, dude. <laughs> is that a tarantula? No, 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 no. It's a snake. How do I not know who Jimmy is? It's Jimmy. Oh, you don't know Jimmy. Right here. Jimmy is Jimmy, dude. Lucky. Oh no! Yes, dude! No! That is way worse than Lucky! Why? That's what That's like did. the only one I yes. didn't want to get. Dude, that's the Look no. at how big it is! Dude, the head is a big deal, bro. What? Oh. Yeah. Alright. Loves all right. the nip. Dude, Jay, any any advice, Jay? Oh, I actually I've never handled the scorpion either, so my advice is pretty uh pretty bad, but I would probably say just How do you do it. it? I don't think it's that mean. Here, pick it up from the tail, and, it won't and then fall just off. very gently. No, it won't fall off, but don't pick it up for a lot. Just as soon as you get up, get it in your hand and set it down. But use so you the get tail the, the you go like this. Get your hand in like this. Pick it up, put it in your hand. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> Why? <Well, I didn't laughs> <laughs> you're not the man. Oh, there it goes. Right down here, and you put it like this. Oh, see, look at you're freaking out a little bit. No. Ah! You like those you like those little three-year-olds. Don't drop it. Dad, let it out! No. Dad. Dad. Dad, that's enough. That's enough. Ah! Oh shit. This is the cage that I was talking about where those two giant trees are going to go into. This is huge. I can't even touch the top, so I'm assuming it's 
maybe 10 feet tall. So everyone knows Brain Barsack. He's been the animal guy on YouTube since before you can remember. Shit, dude, what? <laughs> Don't you see how small this cage is? This is inhumane. This is the most fun job I've ever had, actually. I love it. Damn, not again! You know, they say never to meet your heroes because you'll always be disappointed, and I can't tell you how far from the truth that is when it comes to Brian. I am so lucky that I was able to become friends with him based off of a stupid Twitter DM that I sent him back in, I don't know, 2015 or 16, somewhere around there. I'm just lucky, and I appreciate him so much more than he'll ever know. And Lori, and Noah, and everyone at the Reptarium, their friendship meant and means the world to me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed those few clips. I hope you got some laughs or some smiles. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.